Jubek has got the highest numbers of any city in the country. We are leaders in this community. We do keep our community of Deep Street close to our heart. Shut down the Deep Street and I look politician. We cover every area of Deep Street, every extension. This is Paul Mutiba, NNTV News, Bramfontein. And you are watching Freedom Chat on New Not TV. Today, I get my one. I have this beautiful woman. I'm talking about this lady. You know what? You cannot believe. She's wearing the high heels. She's on point. But believe in me, she is a mechanic. Yeah? Bongani Madulege, welcome to the studio. And how are you today? Oh, thanks. Thank you very much. Please tell, tell us about who you are. Tell us about yourself. Okay, so my name is Bongani, but I'm well known as Fiona. Okay. But currently, I call myself a slay mechanic. All right. Yeah, so the slay mechanic comes from the point that I can transform from this uh -huh. to a work suit. All right. So hence, slay, then mechanic. Wow. So, um, I was born and bred in Sochangove. Okay. I grew up there, and then... Um, learning was a bit of a difficulty for me. Okay. I had a learning disability somewhere, somehow. <laughs> right? So, got to a point whereby I matriculated. Okay. So, after matric, I applied. I went to VETS. I had the nerve, I had the guts to say, you know what, VETS will take me. But, well, I knew that my matric certificate is saying the opposite. Yeah. You know, you see your level two, you see your... And yeah. you're like, you know, VETS is not going to take you. Mm. Apply to VETS. You took the chances. Yeah. Mechanical engineering, guess what? Reject. Okay, sharp. Went to the mm -hmm. Applied. Reject. Reject. TUT. Applied. Reject. Wow. Then someone in TUT was like, you know what, you can go to college mm. and do N4. Yes. And once your results are okay, come then back and come to the varsity. Sharp. Not a problem. Went to college, so the North College. I applied, they're like, nope, you don't have a technical metric. Two, you don't have engineering drawing. So it means you have to start from N2, N3, Three, N4. and then after N4, you will go back to TUT. Right? Sure. Now, asked about the prices and whatnot, only to realize I could not afford. So where I was studying, it's... The college is in Roslyn, right? Yes. So you have Nissan this side, you have uh, BMW, BMW on, on the other side. side. Mm -hmm. Now everything is changing. I hear about apprenticeship. You know, once you have your N2, you can always apply there for apprenticeship and they will take yes. you through the training of becoming a mechanical engineer. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, so why do I have to go to TUT? Well, so I have the opportunity next to exactly. right in front of like, me. You know what? Let me use what I have. Let me work with what I have. Mm. Sharp. Um, I started applying. Remember, I had passed my N2. Mm -hmm. My entry, yes. now I'm doing my N4 right. I started applying, I started applying. Nothing. Okay. No luck. No luck at all. Okay, sharp. Then someone told me, you know what? There's another college, which is good, but it's in Pretoria West. You can go apply there. I went to Pretoria West, I applied. Now I did my N5, N6 stay. So, now there was a challenge. From where I was staying to the college, it was something like 10 kilometers. From so, Sochangovi to Pretoria. To Roslyn. Oh, to Roslyn. To Roslyn. Okay. It was about 10 kilometers. Okay. Right? So, meaning it's a local. Mm. Now, I don't have to spend much money on transport. Mm -hmm. Now, from Sosha to Pretoria West. Now, you need mm, to pass underneath the tunnel. Exactly. Now, I need to connect two taxis from Sosha to town, from town to Pretoria West. Yeah. Now, it's 40 rand. Two. 40 Senior rand. Rate. Yeah. Going back. Meaning it's 80 rand a day. Sure. Now, they took me there. The problem is transport. What do I do? I want to go there. I really want this. Can we just hold it right there and then we go to the break? So after the break, I will be continuing with Bongani. She will be telling us this interesting. You know what? You cannot believe from high heels, you know, she changed to the overall suit. So stay tuned. After the break, we will be giving you more news. Welcome 
back viewers i'm still with this lay mechanic on this show today it's so very interesting i want this lay mechanic to tell us about her job and what is it that she required what it's what motivated her to end up saying well now i'm doing this mechanical engineering you can see she doesn't look like a mechanic hey so tell me basically where can we find you what are you up to for now Okay, so I'm currently running mobile services, mm -hmm. so I'm just a phone call away. All right. doesn't matter where you are, but currently we're based within Houting. Okay. But then if it's outside, obviously there's an additional call-out fee, mm. but you can find us everywhere. So with regards to how I ended up here, it's because the journey of... I finished my school, I finished with my studies 2014. Yes. Right. From 2014 to this point, it has been a struggle to get here. Mm. I guess if it was a male, it was gonna be far much better. Yeah. But now because you are a woman, mm -hmm. now it becomes even more difficult. You go to a dealership, here's my CV, here's my qualification. Can you please give me a simple training, not even a job, mm. training. They look at you, they're like, no. Women. It's lay mechanic. No, exactly. It's not going to work. Look at your lips like that. Uh, <laughs> with the red lipsticks, it's not going to work. And now they do what? So I decided, you know what? I'm not going to wait for someone to hire me. Yeah. I'm not going to put my accreditations just lying there for nothing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rise up. I'm going to create a platform for other women that are coming. Mm. For other women that are in the industry yes. already. So right now that's what I'm doing. I'm only hiring ladies. Mm -hmm. I'm working with ladies. Yes. And I'm hoping that the company will grow even bigger than what it is right now. Mm. Hopefully um, in a period of what? Five years. Okay. I should open a training center. For women. Specifically for women yes. in this trade. You'll be amazed when I um, advertise the post that I'm looking for female mechanics. Mm -hmm. My emails, over 100 CVs of females asking for training. Mm. And I was like, and I only need two. But at the same time, I'm like, what happens to the rest? Yeah, it is because of now what basically is happening, as you are saying that when you go and give them your CV, they look at you and then they say it's a woman. No, she's not going to qualify. She doesn't even know what is a break, what is a handbrake exactly. and those things. So exactly. they miss, they read the outside, but then they don't know the passion that you have inside. Exactly. So now the platform, you are being denied the platform. Mm. So you have different types of clients. You have those that are excited, mm -hmm. that wow, a woman will be fixing my car. Okay. Then you have those that... When you get there, they'll be like, are you sure? And you even say it in their face that they doubt, but yet still, they give you the chance. They give you the opportunity. Then afterwards, when you've done fixing the problem, they come to you, they bow before you. They yeah. say, you know what? I respect you. Moving forward, you'll be doing my car. Salute. Salute. <laughs> Now that's the nice part wow. of it to say. I'm impressed. When you go there, you even go with the expectations that they won't believe me. But the mere fact that they called you to say, I have a problem with my car. Can you come fix? Already you can tell that somewhere, somehow there's confidence mm. there. But there's a bit of doubt. Now you get there. What do you do? You make sure. I'll do your best. Mm. You do the job that will. And now they start marketing you like, hey, exactly. if you exactly. want a mechanic, don't go for a man, uh -uh. don't this lady. Go to her. You know? <laughs> exactly. So where can people find you? Where can they find you? What time? Where? Okay. So uh, on Facebook, they, they can find me. My name is Slay Mechanic Fiona. And then we have a, pay, a, fa a Facebook page as well, which is Omniscient Auto Service Center. Instagram, Slay Mechanic. Twitter, Slay Mechanic. LinkedIn Slay Mechanic and my numbers is 082-7351-898. Can you please repeat the number again? 082-7351-898. So that's where they can basically find you anytime. Yes. So do you work 24 hours or limited hours? 24 hours. 24 hours. You can call me 10 p.m. I'll be there. Wow. I'm so very impressed. I'm so even touched. You know what? This is very interesting. As we are still celebrating Women's Month and we have people out there, very special women that they can say, you know what, I'm just a phone call away. So you can follow her on Instagram. You also have an Instagram, right? Yes. 
on Facebook, on their social media platform. Whenever you need someone to come and fix your car, don't hesitate. This is the Slay Mechanic for you. So please stay tuned and send us those comments on our social media platform. Facebook is New Not TV, and then follow us on Instagram, which is New Not TV, and follow us on Twitter, which is New Not TV too. This is Kathy Maseke. Then please send those comments each and every time then we'll be able to call her again on the studio then she can give you the food for the soul happy women's day